Yes. I can hear you laughing at me in the background. Oh, don't worry. Because you I'm know laughing. what's going to happen to me. You just know. <laughs> I'm just directing my laughter at something else. <laughs> See, this is going to be the opposite of when you play Undertale. Yeah. Like, you're the one who knows what's going on, and I'm the one totally in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Team Pizza Plays Bloodborne, and blindly, I might add it that. God help my soul. His I, of course, am what the fnew. Well done. And thank you. And I am his faithful companion, Drawman. And today we're taking a little we're taking a little tour on the darker side of gaming. With Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Not the DLC, I might add. Uh just a slider until the man is visible and the beast invisible. My TVs are kind of bright, so even all the way down, I can still kinda see that guy. Maybe I'm just looking at my TV from the wrong angle or something. No, I can still see the beast as well, actually. Okay, well, let's turn that up a little bit, because I never trust games to be bright enough. Yeah, that's yeah, that's one thing. I understand it's trying to maintain its atmosphere, but sometimes visibility is a must. You, you, you can't take that away. Not sure what any of this is. I don't know how sensitive the camera actually is right now. That's the thing. If they gave me an opportunity to test this setting, maybe putting it right here at the beginning would be more useful. You know what I mean? Oh, like, I'm, yes. just, I'm just picking this apart from a designer standpoint. Because I'm famously critical of, like, the Dark Souls series and the Bloodborne games, but I'll talk about that in a second and let everybody destroy my ass in the comments after this guy's finished his explanation. Okay, so this contract, uh, the typical stuff, you know, name, age, um, where you're from, what you do, we're gonna need every single defining feature of your face. You have to ask yourself, this, you know, this is where you create your character, but what is this in the context of this universe? Uh, damn it, uh, I keep doing that. Like, R2 is now the done button, and L2 is to capitalize everything. Uh, ew. What are Oops. we... It's just backwards. I haven't gotten used to it yet on these menus. I just instinctively close out the thing when I meant to put in text. What are we going to name our hunter? Hmm. Let's see. Is Whatever you be... choose, we're going to have to live with it. Just bear that in mind. Hmm. Let's see. What's our character's... What's our avatar going to be? Someone who represents us there on the field. Well, I'm just going to throw this out there. I want to play as a female character. Yay! So that makes this that much easier. With oh, that in mind, let's Ooh, name her Dirk Dirk the Hunter. Fear me, for I am the knight. Add in a dash between Dirk and Ip. <laughs> Dirk <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a language thing? Yeah. Like, uh, how do you pronounce this? Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's a milk toast thing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, ordinary happy upbringing. All attributes average. That's our background. Lone survivor of Lost Hamlet. High life essence and vigor. Hmm. Let's make her happy. Hold on a second. I want to check this. What do all these stats do? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, what do all these stats do? Like, some of them are self-explanatory because I've played games before. Like, um, vitality. I guess endurance would be defense. Yeah, how much, you know, how much you can take at your resistance. Um... I get a little less strength, but blood tinge and arcane. I don't think magic's going to be that useful because no time I've ever seen anybody play this game have they been using some kind of magic. 
Troubled and child. Have... Suff suffered misfortune in youth. Highly resilient as a result. Not a whole lot of vitality, though. Violent past. Uh, born specialist, fit for sleuthing or academia. Military mm. veteran. Experienced in war. Soldier with strength and skill. I just realized what we can do. What? What What was that called? The schooling? The... What's the schooling background? <laughs> um, I forgot about this. Every time they give you an origin story, that's it's like the Nomad or whatever they were called in Dark Souls. Like, it, where you just had nothing to begin with. Not even armor or any specialties. Here, you can be a waste of skin. You are nothing. Talentless. You shouldn't have been born. I know exactly what we should make her. What? What's, what's the one above military one called again? Professional. Born specialist. Fit for sleuthing or academia. We should make her that and call her Charlotte. God damn it. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> it just dawned on me the opportunity we should not miss here. Alright. Is that the correct spelling, by the way? C-H-A-R-L-O-T-T-E? I will check that right now. While you do that, I'm going to screw around with the appearance settings. I don't want to spend too much time here, but... Let's go with the mature voice, because while this is technically a Japanese game, I want it to be comfortable for all of my viewers. Oh no, don't make it comfortable. <laughs> hey, we can turn on big head mode. You really could make a chibi. A chibi. Head, chest... <laughs> you see what I'm doing here, right? Yes. I it didn't do. have quite the effect I thought it was going to. <laughs> it reminds me of the Harry Partridge cartoon where he's talking about making his character in Skyrim. There's sliders for noses and sliders for breasts. You see his him just blush like no other. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Yeah. C H A R. L O T T E. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Uh, let's go with that one. Slight tan. That works out. I mean, I know we're gonna spend time all of the night, but we'll confuse him. <laughs> well, that moonlight can be pretty bright. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think that's good, actually. Yeah. I'm not happy about the fact that we don't have a lot of vitality to work with in the beginning, but whatever. Well, you know, well. Charlotte may be a military specialist, we don't know, but too late. Alright. So let's let this guy do the rest of his spiel in that case. Oh yeah, science. I caught that, by the way. Don't think I didn't. Like, I'm going in blind in terms of gameplay and progression, not the lore. I know a thing or two about the story of this game. And that whole quote he made, a bad dream. I see what they did with that. Mm-hmm. See? See you getting into it? Is this good? <laughs> we'll see. Like, I'm a more gameplay-focused individual than anything else. Well, let's look at Jacob from Twilight here. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to be honest about this. Bloodborne is one of the, and just the Souls games in general, are the types of games that I love to watch other people play, but I've never had a taste for playing myself, honestly. Like, I'm fascinated by the world, I'm fascinated by the lore, and like most people, I see these guys who are inspired to create these magnificent things, these hour-long videos just explaining every little detail and theorizing about what's actually going on and I'm like what am I missing here I want to be a part of this and then I start playing the game and I pick up the next game in the series thinking you know what maybe it'll work out well for this time and then I start playing and I'm like mm. <laughs> so, did I sell Animal Crossing Amiibo Party is that still on my shelf <laughs> Hand me fucking 
Hand me fucking Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. I'm, I'll play that. Just give me anything <laughs> but this right now. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of when Attack on Titan debuted. Well, not so much debuted, but was was dubbed over... Well, was serialized, and you could watch it on the internet. Let's just take a second to figure out what all my buttons do, shall we? Also, oh, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> Look at this cross chap. <laughs> well, look at the arm. Does it look to anybody else like that thing is stretching way farther than it should be? Yes, it does. Like, I'm kind of playing as Monkey D. Luffy right now. Yeah, you are Reed Richardsing like no other one. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of how in Kota Hirano's art style, people just become lanky the second they fight. Yeah, that arm is stretching. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm dual wielding my fists, apparently. <laughs> Which reminds me, we, the producer and I were, were we we were talking about the rules of of Heroes Unlimited. It's a little tabletop RPG we all play. Okay. And so we were talking about the logistics of. What's my you, dodge you, button here? Hang on a second. Take your. Time. I don't have a gun. It looks like that's probably what that animation is all about. What's it's my dodge button? That's it. Okay, circle. That's my get out of j jail free card in most situations. <laughs> Rough and tumble, rough and tumble. Come on, Charlotte, you can do it. Yeah, get him, girl. Oh, this isn't foreboding at all. Nah. This Think is. It... Take a good look. This is the last time you will ever see the light. Think of it this way: you are exiting the Scarlet Devil Mansion. <laughs> now I wish I could remember that song off the top of my head. Do 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 do, do big do 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 do. do. Boo -doo, doo -doo -doo. It's like you're desperately trying to think of something, you can't do it on the spot, but the instant you resign yourself to the fact that you can't remember it, it pops into your head again. It's like your mind rewards you for letting go. <laughs> <laughs> I see you over there. I see you being a son of a bitch. Literally. That's a dog. That's Hold a doge. Hold on a second. Do I have anything in my inventory right now? It's Mark. No weapons. Got just the clothes on my back. Chalices. What are chalices? Oh. I guess it's nothing. I saw depth and area off to the side. It's like, do I start with some items? I was hoping you, they just gave you an urn full of ashes that you could just throw at people. No, no. We're not targeting that thing right now. It may be weakened, but... I, I don't think punching a werewolf is the smartest idea in the world. Let's just put it that way. Oh, come on. Help. Alexander Van Helsing pulled it off, and he's a b total, total baller. He is. He's a cool guy. Wouldn't be cool, don't you? Wouldn't be I'm Van Helsing. I am. I am. Oh, he's facing that way. <laughs> Whoops. That almost ended badly. Remember, Good thing, like in most video games, his field of vision isn't very wide. His vision's based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> he's Doggo from Undertale. Yep. <laughs> He just throws blue attacks as long as I don't do anything, he can't hit me. Exactly. Remember, nothing can happen where we aren't. Alright, looks like we're destined to do this, it looks like. Yeah, cross jet. Look, you are literally punching the world. See, you thought it was a bad idea. It's not working out for me so far. He's doing a ton of damage here. He's not t He's taking a whole lot of damage. See? See? Probably not a smart idea to just waste all of my stamina on hitting him. Okay, no, we got some healing items at the very least. Yeah, see? See, the game provides everything you need. I charged that giant attack! <laughs> and it didn't do a whole lot to him. See ya. Come on, buddy. Throw an attack so I know I'm good. Smack him in the face! Ow. Well, that was unpleasant. Ooh, yep, that's, that's uh, that's all my health bar gone. Uh huh. Yep, yep. We, we got it. Oh. Well, thanks oh. for that, guys. Glad to know things haven't changed since the first Dark Souls. Well, that concludes our Bloodborne Let's Play. We made so you. much progression. <laughs> <laughs> I've got beef jerky, by the way. I got it in my Christmas socking, which sounds sad until you realize I love this stuff. I well, just got. I well, just got no. Well, I'm about to play from. You know what? Really, I don't want to fly. <laughs>
<laughs> no, continue. <laughs> oh no, I'm done. Please, t- please tell your story before I embarrass myself further. Okay, so, like I said, when Attack on Titan started debuting, everyone and their mother was watching it, which is good. It's a great show. I recommend it. The problem is, I could not talk to anyone about it because it was. it's one of those fandoms where either you know exactly what's going on and you can talk about it with someone else who knows exactly what's going on, or you are a newcomer and should not be spoken to until you have caught up with everyone about everything. Yeah. Generally, when you're getting into something that's really popular, you should try to avoid the fandom because they will spoil everything for you. Or be like the people I hung out with on campus and they were like, no, don't talk about it. Spoilers. Okay. Hey, I finally saw episode blank. That thing happened. They haven't seen it yet. Spoilers. Okay, fine. Oh, hey, I finally saw the thing. Sorry, I've got homework. I hate you so much. (laughs) <laughs> basically that's the way i was with you guys in undertale which you still haven't played by the way yeah but at this point i'm starting to think i don't care about spoilers uh, I just wanna please be... please you should trust me what are these <sighs> attributes i don't know what any of these mean like it has this is the weakest weapon here but it has a plus 10 off to the side is that just the bonus stats it gets off of something i don't know it's got less durability than the axe, but I guarantee you the axe is a really slow, stupidly hard to use weapon against enemies that just attack you at a million miles per hour like that werewolf did. <laughs> I wouldn't say a million miles per hour. <laughs> but uh, enough. You know, why be original? I'll take the saw cleaver. Seems like the balanced choice here. Exactly, they're... They're, he's attacking you enough. He's attacking you doing damage. Offer you, you a lose. firearm. Okay. Ooh. Huh. Do I take the 20 attack weapon? Or do I take the 70 attack weapon? Do you have to ask? Why was that even a choice? <laughs> Like, hey, do you want to make the game even more stupidly difficult on yourself? Okay, here's an absolutely useless tool. (laughs) Have fun, jackass. Hey, kids, want to make things harder? Yeah! Well, you don't have legs anymore. Yeah! Wait. (laughs) (laughs) You know, we may as well explore a little bit, considering one of the best parts about these games is the lore. Root Mm chalice is required to conduct a ritual. Okay, Uh, I'll keep my eyes open for one of those. Holy chalice. Just chalices in general. Got it, okay. Get those, die, go back to the dream. Sacrifice them for some ritual that will maybe help me in some way? I don't know. That will maybe help you. The emphasis on maybe, and I'm not being facetious, that is the environment of this game. Really? These rituals are a risk? I could lose stats instead of gain them or something? Oh, no, I mean... No, no, not that way. I mean... So, our viewers might know that this is a very Lovecraftian game. Mm Mm-hmm. And, and in the grand scheme of things, what Lovecraft means is what you're looking at right now may very well break you somewhere down the line. It's very risky. In terms of, okay... I've read this thing and I'm going somewhere. This may be good or may be horrendous. I don't know until I finally get there. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, I say do the thing. This is still a video game. You're going to get benefits. Oh, so now they teach me how to do things. Yeah, that's how to dodge. That's how to attack. It's like in case you didn't realize. Oh, and we've got our gun now. Wait, what was triangle for then? Oh, that's to use a blood vial. Got it. They don't call it blood point for no reason. Okay. By the way, you've heard the theories about that, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, For those of you who haven't looked up theories about what the blood actually is, it's kind of a fascinating theory, I'm not gonna lie. Also, we have a lock-on that I totally forgot to use during that fight. Oops. 
Ooh. Is he still wounded from all the punching I did? God forbid he I lose all my hard work on that. God forbid I lose the few hit points. Mmm. I will admit, that kind of feels good. Blood Echoes retrieved. Although, he, that was a weakened werewolf, so I don't feel too amazing about that. No, no, feel very good. Feel very good. He was weak, he deserved it. No, no, I, I do feel good. I'm kicking him around like a soccer ball now. Exactly. That feels amazing, man. You kidding? One Ooh, of the most entertaining you... parts about these games is the ragdoll physics. <laughs> cool. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Trust me, this isn't even the peak of my vitriol. Like, we've yet to get to the actual game. But yeah, there it teaches me about blood vials, because I wasn't supposed to pick those up yet, apparently. Again, that's something you gotta think about. Like, how, are pl how can players break this situation, and how can I account for it? True. That's a very, like, if you try to control absolutely everything, you make your game, you run the risk of having your game come across as linear. And, uh, but if you give players too much freedom, you end up with some of the open world weirdness that, um, companies like Konami, or, sorry, not Konami, well, I guess them with Metal Gear Solid Five now, but Ubisoft is the most famous, uh, people responsible for that. There we go. I'm trying to think about what I'm saying these days. That way I don't trip over my words nearly as much. <laughs> there we are. We've gotten past the tutorial and opened the door to a whole new world of horrors. What's awaiting us in the oft-talked-about world of Yardum? Find out next time on Team Pizza Plays Bloodborne Blind. Until then, I'm What the Fnew. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm Draw Man. How's the have about that? And we will see you again next time. Later, everybody! Later.